What is up everyone? Matt Tursick. Seth Murphy is unfortunately not here with us today. He is out looking for his lost dog. So we're rooting for you, Seth. We hope you find him. Um, but in the meantime, we are doing a Tuesday tour on this beautiful listing, Adam Kaplan's from John L. Scott. It's 1001 Cedar Street, which is located in Lake Oswego's Hallinan neighborhood. Currently one of three active listings in the entire neighborhood. And I'm excited to show you the house. So this one's been recently renovated and is listed at $1.495 million. It's just under 2,600 square feet, four bed, three and a half bath, and you immediately walk into this wide open space. You have your great room, dining, and kitchen, all as one continuous open space with this beautiful beam, vaulted ceilings. Having been built in 1973, it really is true to the original mid-century modern theme that you have going on throughout this house. Now, the majority of the Hallinan neighborhood was originally built in the 70s. There has been a lot of turnover recently, driving the average price per foot up in recent years. But to give you guys some perspective, over the last 12 months, there's been 45 sales in the neighborhood at an average of $375 price per foot. The one we're going through today is currently priced at $580 a foot, which is commensurate with most of Lake Oswego for a remodeled product like this. And as we get to this kitchen, you can see why. One of my favorite appliance brands, uh, it's a complete decor package. You have beautiful stainless steel on the inside, wood panel on the outside, massive freezer right here. As we get into the rest of the kitchen, six burner, 36 inch decor range with matching hood, beautiful quartz counters, quartz backsplash, and I really like how they have just the cabinet super clean, one single panel, and then on the island here, you have a nice contrast with the walnut finish. So that's pretty much the main space of the house. Sam, did I miss anything? Uh, honestly, the only thing I can think of is the view. Yeah, no, good point. This uh, house is very nicely positioned, looking to the north. So stepping out onto the deck, uh, one of the first things I notice is they have this nice composite material with aluminum handrail. And I also like the cedar tongue and groove covered space gives you some privacy from the weather. But looking out over this beautiful view, the lake is just here to the north. You're walking distance to George Rogers Park, as well as Palisade Shopping Center, which they're opening up a brand new New Seasons. Awesome spot just to walk to right in the neighborhood. In addition to George Rogers Park and that shopping center, you do have Free Ponds Park, which is just over here to the south. It also flanks Hallinan Elementary. Hallinan is one of the most coveted elementaries in all of Lake Oswego. It's very highly ranked and your kids can literally walk here. You can't say that about many Portland metro areas. Now, as we head to the primary suite, you do have a small bedroom off to the right. Really, this room's probably better off for an office space. You definitely get a very nice feel of spaciousness, very clean lined. I love the wood floors. They use these wood floors throughout. Coming in here, I love the use of the dark tile with the white, provides a nice contrast. And then you have this beautiful freestanding tub and bronzed fixtures throughout. Now, before heading down, I do wanna point out, you do have an attached two car garage here with the really cool Glass garage doors lets plenty of natural light into this garage space. You have an EV hookup as well as a tankless hot water. All right, Sam, watch your head coming down. That is one thing about this house because it's an original 1973 house. You do have shorter ceilings. Where that comes into play mostly is as you're looking out, if you are taller, some of your view may be cut off. All right, Sam, so let's take a step outside. They have this nice panel sliding door. I actually really like this door. It is a very nice touch. You can open up the space to the outside where again, you have a massive composite deck with steps down to the yard. You do get a little bit of flat yard, just a nice space for dog, little kids, maybe some gardening boxes, something like that. You do have fantastic sun exposure back here. Although something to note is the house is facing north, so you lose that sun in the early afternoon. Okay, so stepping back inside, uh, some of the fun features of the house do include this awesome little bar. You have seating for three, as well as a mini refrigerator back here and sink, open shelves. I really like what they did with this paneling here. But another cool feature is you have a locking door handle on this nice little wine uh, cooler space. It is refrigerated and come take a look at the actual floor in here. It's actual quartz with an acrylic finish, which is a really cool detail. I haven't seen that actually. And then to round out the rest of this floor, you do have two bedrooms right here. 
along with a laundry space. So if you're looking for that primary on the main, keep in mind, you'd have to come downstairs to do laundry. But I will say this room at the very end is actually a really nice size and does include its own private bathroom. So this is a suite. All right, so that is pretty much it for this house. It's a nice size house. I'd say it's on the nicer end of this particular neighborhood. And I think it's actually pretty well priced at 1495. The market right now in Lake Oswego is pretty crazy with most homes going right now for either five to 10% above ask, believe it or not, in the first week. This one happens to be still available after five days on market. So I'd encourage you to reach out. And if this looks interesting, there actually might be a chance to get it at list price or maybe a hair below. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about Lake Oswego or the Hallinan neighborhood specifically, feel free to reach out, comment on the video. I'd be happy to answer any questions. And if you can do me a quick favor and like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps uh, us out here. And of course, we hope Seth finds his dog. Hey everybody, sorry I couldn't make today's Tuesday tour, but we found my dog and now we're at the gym. Hopefully Matt did a good job by himself. Usually I'm there for moral support and to babysit a little bit, but I'm sure he did fine.